hey guys welcome back to my channel so i am back with another video for you guys and yes i'm finally doing something colorful for you guys so i'm getting my whole entire life from this wig right now i felt like i haven't rocked any fun colors in a while and i really haven't but i'm getting my whole entire life she is giving me my little pony vibes i'm feeling the pastel shades so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this color and how to style this wig this hair color was actually inspired by a wig maker that i follow on instagram she goes by the name of tresses by sandrine hopefully i'm saying that correctly but yeah if you guys want to see how i achieve this color then please keep on watching all right so the wig that i'm showing you guys today it's from supernova hair this is what it looks like when it's out of the package and this is a 613 150 density wig i will put all the info in the description bar down below so this is what it looks like on the inside and it has two clips on the side two combs and one in the back i took two sides ones out because i never use it and i kept the one in the back so this is a lace front yes i know she's looking a little rough right now but i'm about to transform her okay so you get a wig cap with the wig all that stuff comes in the box and you get a elastic band so this you can sew it onto your wig if you want it to fit a lot better however i didn't bother doing that because mine fit pretty good so i'm showing you guys a bundle of hair because i'm gonna add some hair to this wig just to make it a little bit thicker a little bit fuller i needed a little bit more volume to this wig this next step is completely optional you don't have to do it if you don't want to so i went in my scissors and i cut the track and i'm going to go in with my needle and thread and i'm using a blonde thread as you can see because the color that i'm going for with my wig today is going to be a light color if I was going to dye it a darker color, I would have went in with black thread, but I'm using blonde. So I'm just going to go ahead and stitch that hair track down to my wig and I'm going to add about two tracks. So I added a track also for volume and also for length because the length of the wig is actually 20 inches and I wanted a little bit more inches on this. So the hair track that I used was about 24 inches. All right, so I'm all done sewing down this hair. Now I'm gonna move on to toning. I'm gonna use my Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo and I'm putting that into the bucket. That's how much shampoo I put in the bucket. Then I'm gonna pour some water. So it's not hot water, it's just regular temperature, room temperature water. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my wig into that bucket and I'm just going to have it sit in the water for maybe five, 10 minutes, not too long. Just keep an eye on it because you don't want to tone your hair too much. I'm just trying to pull out that yellow tone out of the hair because I want it to be more of a cool tone blonde. The longer you leave it in the water for the purple shampoo, it could end up turning like a silvery color. So if that's not the color you're going for, just be careful and just keep an eye on it. So I just want it to be a lighter tone blonde so this is what we have now so i got rid of most of that tacky yellow blonde that i had going on now i'm going to go in with one of my ride or die products a vaseline so i'm applying this all over the lace i actually put it on the inside of the lace as well and this is going to protect my lace and shield it from any stain because getting your lace stain is just not a good look it's not cute so protect that lace Moving right along to color, I'm going to take my Arctic Fox Arctic Mist Diluter and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this mixing bowl right here. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Girls Night. So it's a nice light purple shade. However, I want it to be a really nice light pastel shade of purple. So I'm just mixing that color all together. And then I'm going to go ahead and start applying the lavender shade to the roots. So we're going to give this wig some roots today. And she's getting pastel roots all over. And I'm just going to go ahead and part the hair with my comb in sections. And just at the roots only, we're going to add the purple. So it's up to you on how long you want the roots to be i didn't want mine to be too long and then i'm going to go in with some saran wrap and just to protect the hair so they're not all touching each other and i'm going to repeat the same steps this part is very repetitive so i'm just going to speed up this part of the video 
so guys i left the color on for about 30 minutes and then i washed it out off camera this is how she's looking i'm feeling her so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other colors so this is the shade neon moon also from arctic fox it's a really nice light yellow however i want that like neon slime green color so i'm going to use adore electric lime so it's a green shade and i'm going to mix it together with the yellow so i literally put like two drops of that mix it all together and we have this beautiful crazy slime green color i love it and i'm going to go in with the arctic fox diluter again and i'm going to use the shade adore sweet mint and i mix it together like a minty green shade however i wanted the color to be very pastel not too pigment so that's why i use the diluter and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use my brush and just add some colors to the sections of hair that i want to add color to i'm not going to add the color all over the hair i just want to have little sections of hair with the color so it's up to you it's optional on where you want to place these colors now guys i could have left the lavender hair dye in the wig but the reason why i washed it off is because i had the saran wrap and it would have been harder for me to um color the hair with the saran wrap in it if i didn't use the saran wrap method i could have just go ahead and leave the purple on and then go ahead and color the sections that i wanted to color so that's why i washed the purple out i did not use any shampoo or conditioner i just use water so yeah and i'm gonna go ahead and add that gorgeous neon green to the front because that's where i want the neon green to be and as you can see the shades are very very light they're not super bright that's the look i'm going for i want it to be light and pastel easter vibes okay <laughs> And guys, I think this is the first time I've ever done a wig with colorful roots. And I freaking love it. Like this roots, the lavender roots was giving me my entire life. I loved how it turned out. And I love how this wig turned out actually. Like this is probably, I don't want to say it's one of my favorite, but the color is one of my favorite. I love pastel shades when it comes to wigs. And I kind of miss wearing my colorful wigs too. All right, so I'm all done coloring this wig. It did not take me very long to do this at all. This was super easy. And I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna wash the product out. Once I wash the product out, I actually did not use any shampoo whatsoever in this wig. I just used some Pantene Pro V conditioner and that was it. And this is how she is looking. She's looking real cute. And as you can see, I'm using a tweezer just to tweeze the hairline. So this is customizing the hairline to make it look a bit more on the natural side. I do have a very, very detailed video on how I tweeze my wig hairlines. So I'm all done tweezing her. I'm going to go ahead in with my blow dryer now and I'm going to blow her out and get her ready to style her. All right, so she is pretty much completed. This is how she is looking. I'm getting my life from this color. She is giving me my little pony realness, unicorn vibes. And this is how it looks once I have the wig on my head. So I applied my wig off camera. I do have very, very detailed videos on how I apply my wigs. And this is my favorite flat iron. This is the Titanium Bay Bliss, Bay hope I said that correctly, flat iron. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just straighten out my hair. And this is how it looks when it's straightened. I will say because I toned the hair with the purple shampoo, I think it made the hair feel a little bit on the dry side, but not too dry and stiff. It still looked pretty good. And I also went in my curling iron just to add some curls, just so you guys can see how it looks once it's curled. Comment down below. Let me know if you prefer it straight or a little bit of curls in it. Love how this week turned out. And if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.